So tossing and turning at night is pretty common, but what is really the sleep physiology or what actually causes this to happen? We call it sleep fragmentation and it's pretty common in insomnia. I'm Dr. Andy Burkowski of Relax Health. So tossing and turning is basically a way of saying that your brain is going in and out of light stages of sleep into being awake. And this can be short term, it could happen maybe just on one night, or for some people with insomnia disorder, this can happen night to night where sleep doesn't feel refreshing, it's very restless, and the sleep quality feels really poor. Well, what happens is sleep is not really an on and off switch like shutting off a light. The brain in different parts and different areas is constantly transitioning from being awake to being asleep. So with tossing and turning, the brain is generally at a very light stage of sleep, which we call stage N1. And in stage N1, N stands for non-REM sleep. And this stage is the first stage that the brain typically transitions to as it's going into sleep. So in tossing and turning, an individual is going in and out of N1 sleep. Different parts of the brain are going, so the body's kind of waking up, falling asleep, moving around, and doesn't feel very restful. People are getting sleep. It's not high quality of sleep. So what actually can cause this? Well, there are two general areas, physical causes and what we call psychophysical causes. So the physical causes of sleep could be anything that really diminishes the body's sleep fuel to, to sleep through the night. So this could be something like taking a, a really long nap in the afternoon and then at night, the, the body doesn't have enough fuel to sleep deeply during the night. Also, if someone's timing of their sleep is inconsistent, they're not waking up at the same time, whether it's due to travel, which would be kind of jet lag, or sleeping in on the weekends and waking up early during the week, sleeping outside the normal time zone can lead to lower quality sleep and sleep fragmentation. Substances, caffeine, drinking too much caffeine afternoon or late at night, that cup of coffee with dessert, or even alcohol, drinking a lot right before bed, and then over the course of the night, the alcohol is metabolized by the body, and sleep becomes lighter and more fragmented during the second half of the night. But really, the main causes of tossing and turning are what we call psychophysical, which means that the brain itself is interrupting the physical ability to sleep. This can be very short-term, something stressful. So you're giving a speech tomorrow uh, at work, and all of a sudden you're tossing and turning the night before. Uh, you have a stressful day at work or at home with the family. That can cause you to toss and turn. This can be both short-term and chronic levels of stress. The opposite is true, excitement. Maybe you've got a big prize you're getting tomorrow and you're really excited about it. Well, that can keep you up and that can make you toss and turn. Then there are things that are more mental health related like anxiety or anxiety disorders, which the anxiety itself is the overactivity of the brain that can lead to the sleep fragmentation. And then of course there is insomnia disorder itself where individuals have night in and night out difficulty falling asleep and staying asleep. So they toss and turn worrying about their sleep and that keeps them awake. Well, what are the ways to improve this? Well, one is kind of an acceptance. So in some cases, this is natural. So you're giving a speech the next day, it's natural to toss and turn in your sleep. So for most people, you don't really need to worry about it. Your body will catch up on future nights. Uh, another thing is to uh, maintain a consistent sleep schedule, which I've talked about elsewhere, and implement a buffer zone. So a period of time where you can relax prior to bedtime that separates the stresses from the day from the relaxation of nighttime. And that means building in stress, stress reduction activities, particularly in the evening and, and prior to bedtime. And then lastly, for those who are tossing and turning every night and have what's called insomnia disorder, medical therapy using cognitive and behavioral therapy for insomnia is usually the best way to address poor sleep quality and sleep fragmentation that behavioral and cognitive changes by someone who's skilled in sleep therapy are usually the most beneficial things for people who have tossing and turning or sleep fragmentation on a night in and night out basis. 
As always, this video is for general information purposes only. It does not constitute medical advice or recommendations. And all of these decisions regarding sleep should be made under the care of a licensed medical professional. And as I like to say, one of the keys to sleeping well is to relax.